They came in a cloud of chrome, dust, petrol and leathers. Bikers from Idaho and beyond streamed into the small town of Haley to show solidarity for a family missing a son. You know, I lost the son and I know what it was like. The closure was right there and to have to live for as long as they have, you know, worried about that knock on the door. I don't know, I don't know how they do it, to be quite honest, you know. 27-year-old U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl has been held captive in Afghanistan for four years, America's only prisoner of war in the 12-year conflict. Ribbons of support flutter from fences. This town has sent many people to war, but the fate of Bo Bergdahl has been hard to bear. Motorcycles are the best. They know he's alive, and a letter arrived earlier this month. In the last few days, the Taliban said it could trade Bo Bergdahl's freedom for the release of five of their own from Guantanamo Bay. A close friend of the Bergdahl family runs a local cafe where Bo used to work. I talked to Jenny this morning, and uh, they're feeling very encouraged, very encouraged by these talks in Qatar. They're anticipating a wonderful resolution to the situation, and they're very, very hopeful. In the park where Bo Bergdahl used to play, his father spoke to the crowd, his beard four years long, grown in honor of his captive son. To the people of Afghanistan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace of God and the blessings that come from God be upon you. May we somehow, after 12 long years, find peace in Afghanistan so that our soldiers and our American personnel can come home. This small, tight-knit mountain town in Idaho is a world away from Afghanistan. But now the fate of a missing young soldier from here could hold a key to unlocking talks between the United States and the Taliban. It's a role that the Bergdahl family and nobody here ever wanted, and they don't care how it's done. They just want Bo back. Ben Wright, BBC News, Haley in Idaho.